hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is soma um, and to all of you that keep coming back hello and welcome back quick reminder if you've never subscribed let me just remind you to click that red button there that says subscribe and after that click the bell sign that way you get a notification whenever i upload a new video <laughs> there's a cat there climbing my wall so um so the other time i made a video and i was telling you guys about nkiru nkiru and bengozi is it nkiru and bengozi yeah nkiru and bengozi you all know about the saga and um Ngozi was um Ngozi claimed that because we still don't know the whole full story Ngozi claimed that nkiru was uh, i hope i'm not mixing the names up now yeah yeah nkiru was having an affair with her husband right and she went over to nkiru's house and they beat her up nkiru was naked and nkiru was beaten up nkiru didn't even fight back nkiru was beaten up and i made a video and the thing i really you know and one thing i want to say is i you know when i say when i make videos like this and i speak my opinion about things like this i'm speaking from the bottom of my heart my opinion and and i'm not forcing my opinion on anyone i come here and i share my opinion you are free to leave your opinions in the comment section i'm not going to say your opinion i'm going to say my opinion um and the thing again is this like i was saying you know i said in that video i said that was wrong you know nkiru if it's true she had the relationship with your with her husband you know with her husband that is not a crime it is wrong it is morally wrong and whatever but it's not a crime and i have made videos even about a year ago i remember making a video where i said that i said that it is your spouse that has it is your spouse that has made a vow with you to be faithful and all of these things you know and they are the ones that have really that have broken these vows and i was trying to say that you know no matter how painful and everything it is you have to know where the boundaries and how much can you do about it you know and i talked about i also talked about how women are very quick to fight the other woman and then they go home and make their husband, their husband the best male in the world and love him up and do everything but then go fight the other woman and i would say trash your issue with your husband and don't ever allow any man be the reason why you fight another woman you know because at the end of the day i have and like i was saying in that other video as well i was like the man that is worth fighting for will never put you in a position to have to fight for him you know so long story short i showed a video here and people have different opinions it doesn't is there's no problem we're always going to have different opinions about things even conjoined twins can still have different opinions sometimes it's good to apply wisdom and let me tell you somebody was like if it's you what would you do let me tell you if it's me if it's me i will not fight another woman because of a man but but the truth is this even if i do it still does not make it right uh, you still have to ask yourself what is the right thing okay long story short after all of that i remember i shared a clip where this other lady said that uh, uh, ngozi was going to be in trouble for what she did hi guys um so i've just spoken with um inkiru the inkiru and ngozi sega i've just spoken with inkiru um are you aware that a gun was pulled on inkiru like seriously, a gun was put on in Kiru, and that was part of why she did not react back. Um, I've spoken with her, and I don't think what I heard is what what anybody should go through. So uh, be watching out. A lot more is going to be unveiled as things go on. For those of you who think it's okay for cyberbullying, I hope you know that evidence of the video online is evidence of cyberbullying, and we're not taking it lightly. If somebody does something to you, as a human being, you should be able to communicate your grievances to the person. Once you commit a crime to solve what you think is another crime, it's not permissible to, uh, before the law. But you see on this Nkiru and Ngozi case, this is a very typical example many people should watch out for. Yes. Before we knew it, there was a hashtag everywhere, justice for Nkiru. And then people are all there trying to find justice for Nkiru. But this is what I'm telling you guys. N N N Nkiru ngozi ngozi who was if it's true that her husband had an affair that's supposed to be you know the victim if i can say that has ended up no longer being the victim because of her actions and i talk about how some women have ended up you know hurting another woman so badly because of a man and then the man ends up marrying that woman a lot of this a lot of the things i share with you guys guys i am sharing from the deep place in my heart as we speak at the moment ngozi is now um locked up and kiru is the victim okay ngozi is in a lot of trouble is any man really worth all of this is any man that's how i feel about it and i'll give you guys an example when i talk about talking from my experience one my father's best friend best friend um he was married and then he had the girlfriend and then this particular girl 
he had a girlfriend. He had a lot of girlfriends. Like he had a lot of girlfriends. And then there was this particular. Uh, and then this girl came to visit him at the office but his wife is a housewife this girl came to visit him at the office and on that day his wife happened to be around believe it or not the girlfriend was coming to his um, um my uncle had a shop my uncle had uh, my father i call him uncle because he's not my uncle but he's my father's friend so i will I, I call him like an uncle so my uncle had a shop and the wife was with a, the wife was a housewife and then this woman um the the his girlfriend one of his girlfriends because my uncle had a lot of girlfriends one of his girlfriends was coming to see him um at his uh, shop in his shop he has a section that you know at his shop he had like big shop he's a very rich man had big shops and um, he had an office kind of like at the back and then on this particular day his wife was working out or something the wife was there at the shop or something and then this girl was walking up and the man's girlfriend and saw the wife not knowing that that's a wife and said i'm looking for such and such and the wife was like and who are you and you know she didn't know and she and the wife gave her a hot slap and um, the next thing whatever was going on my uncle came out and what what is this what's going on and the next thing the girlfriend was like oh you know that kind of thing oh she slapped me whatever and do you know what happened do you know what happened the husband my uncle said to the wife why did you slap her okay do you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna marry her this is not a joke this is true life story and my uncle married this girl and sent his first wife to the village kept the girlfriend became the second wife in 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 the town with him in the city in benin and kept the girlfriend in benin and the girlfriend became the wife the wife stayed in the village this is when i see some of these things i'm speaking from my experience uh my thing is this it's not even what my uncle did because you no know, those are marriage in those days where the men can say you will belong here or whatever nowadays the woman could be like i don't want to marry anymore you know now i know things are changing or whatever but the thing is this like that this happened i was a kid when this happened i never forgot that because i just felt like why why waste your energy fighting another woman because of a man you know from a child from my childhood i know of this experience but i have come to see that you can love a man you can do everything you want to do in your relationship to make it work or whatever but there are some extent i feel like you shouldn't go for a man now kiru is um ngozi is now locked up because of a man guess who is free the man she fought because of you i really want to come back and touch back on this story because i already shared the other part of the story oh, the reason i'm touching touching on it again is i want people to start thinking is a man really worth it is like how far can you go for a man you know at that minute where you are the most angry take a breather go for a walk come back later and decide what you want to do be very careful be very careful went too far she went too far but look at look at what she get look at what she got out of it now most people majority of people on social media are against what she did especially because another thing is that you know people say fighting they were not fighting she was hitting on kiru kiru did not hit back for some of you that saw the video i saw the video i couldn't even share the video on my channel you know i didn't share the video on my channel but i saw the video she was hitting on kiru non-stop and kiru didn't hit back and from what i later from what i later found out they were saying that she actually went to kiru's house to fight her in her own house and beat her up you know and like I kept on saying, where is the man? The saga, the saga, the saga. But there's no man on the picture. There's actually a picture that I saw that was shared. And they said that's the man. And I couldn't really still see his face. But I was still thinking to myself, you know, at the end of the day, the face that we know, that, you know, you know the face that has been named and shamed is Ngozi's face, not the husband. You know what I mean? People have to be careful. When I say these things, I'm saying it, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying to side if truly Kiru had an affair with her husband. I'm not saying it to side in Kiru. I'm saying it for your own sake. It will not happen. I'm just saying you, okay. For your own sanity. I'm just saying if anybody if it happens to you, it happens, may it not may it not happen to you. But I'm just saying when it's happening to somebody, the person have to do it for yourself. You're not doing it because, you know, like in this situation. Don't if you were the one. Don't do it because oh, I don't want to hurt in Kiru. No. Don't do it because I love in Kiru. No. Do it for your own sanity, for your own peace of mind, for yourself. Decide within yourself that I am going to stay calm. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Look after your, that's the word, look after yourself in, in, in situations like this. Look after yourself. Look after, look after your mental health. Look after, how, think about how you feel. Look, don't make it about her. Don't make it about him. Take a breather and say to yourself, 
I'm not gonna let this put me. I'm not gonna let this put me down. I'm not gonna let this situation. I'm not gonna let this situation make me do what I don't want to do. I don't want to disgrace myself. I'm gonna respect myself. I'm gonna have some dignity. At that moment, if you want to call it selfish, call it selfish. Don't fight for the man. Don't fight against your friend. Don't fight your friend. Look after yourself your mental health make it about you be selfish for once in your life and say what is the best for me what is the best for me fighting somebody else if what she be is it before she because she went and she fought in kiru and kiru did not fight back what if you went there to fight a kiru and kiru had a knife and poked you with a knife you see where i'm coming from what if and then your life will end because of the man then the man is still out there and then you lose your life and you have children to look after i talked the other time last year i shared a video about how this other woman i can't remember what she did she she did something she fought the other woman poured bleach on her in the uk nigerian woman and she ended up in jail she ended up in jail and she has two children she ended up in jail what's going to happen to the two children while she's gone so so some people thought i was taking sides with nkiru if truly nkiru had an affair i wasn't taking sides all i'm saying whatever i was saying in that video is for the your own benefit that's in for this in this situation Ngo, uh, ngozi for ngozi's own benefit to benefit her look at the mess now believe me if you rewind right now ngozi will not do the exact same thing she did before so let for everybody watching this you and i anybody watching this this is our own rewind it has not happened to us let this be our own rewind let us use this as an example it has never happened to us may it not may it not, may it not happen to us but the thing is this learn from somebody else's experience you know sometimes some people are like, sometimes sometimes some people are like oh summer why do you do video about other people why do you talk about other people it is good to learn from other people's experiences i talk about myself too i share my life experiences for people to learn from my experiences and i share other people's experiences for people to learn from other people's experiences that is one of the best ways to learn in life they say experience experience is the best teacher sometimes your experience is not your experience it can be that person's experience or that person's experience and i come here and i talk about it i talk about that person's experience and i use it as opportunity for all of us to learn i talk about my experiences and i use it as an i talk about my experiences my childhood the tough childhood my father's house you know my father being a tough authoritarian uh you know my life growing up all of these things that i share i'm sharing it because it is my experience and i want people to learn from it and when i share about other people when i talk about other people i'm also using them and their experience for all of us to learn from so i wanted to come back here and share with you guys um so people were not too happy with that video but you know me i always speak my mind you know me i always speak the truth you know if you don't like it that's fine but that i'm not going to come here and sugarcoat things i'm going to i'm always going to say things exactly the way they are as i know it so now with this new news about ngozi being locked up and everything i just thought to myself you know i'll just come here and update you guys about it especially those of you that were not happy with what i said before this is exactly what i was talking about you know and it has ended up happening i remember i said it in that video that Nkiru has the right connections ngozi can get in trouble and this is exactly what i said i really wanted to come back and touch on it again for those of you that didn't understand what i was saying this is exactly what i was talking about all i'm here saying in this video is let's be careful let's be careful honestly believe me no man is really worth it and like i said the man that is worth fighting for will not put you in a position to have to fight for him um, and with that i'm just going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye